behind closed doors I'm a fool for your love Hi guys, another Geek123 here. So, in the last couple of days we have been getting some more info on Square Enix's Avengers game. And I'm here to go through all of the information. So let's get into it. First off, there's been a tweet from the game's Twitter announcing a reveal at Square Enix's E3 panel. And this is... Uh, this will be on June 10th at 6 p.m. Pacific time, which is June 11th at 2 a.m. for GMT, where I am. So I will try and stay up for that. If you guys are in other time zones, uh, I have uh, I have put on the screen now uh, like about five of the most popular time zones that I can think of, other than these two I've mentioned and put them down so if you guys are in that time zone you can just look now and get your time if you want to see the panel and if you're in other time zones I'm sorry but you will have to figure out yourself um, we have also now have also got confirmed that the game is now officially Marvel's Avengers and it has two pictures shown their classic A logo and a full word logo has been made for the game and it also has been making people wonder if this game is actually a remake of the cancelled Avengers project and then it's also made people think if the game's connected to Marvel Spider-Man since that's got a similar name since it could have just been called the Avengers but no it's called Marvel's Avengers since Spider-Man is called Spider-Man or Spider-Man PS4 as I like to call it the official names Marvel Spider-Man the game will also feature contextuous single player and cooperative, cooperative gameplay according to a listing on E3 Coliseum website for the panel the game is taking place in. It also says that four players can team up in the game and you can also customise superheroes play styles. Uh, was also featured in the cancelled Avengers project which makes people think if it's a remake of that game as well and then mentioning in this um, description the full description on the website fully states embrace your powers and join key members of the development team at Crystal Dynamics have a creative team at Marvel Games as they talk exclusively about the upcoming Marvel's Avengers this is defying Avengers gaming experience an epic action adventure that combines cinematic storytelling with continuous single player and cooperative gameplay. Moderated by Andre Rennie, assemble in teams up to four players. Master extraordinary abilities, customize your heroes to fit your playstyle, and combine powers to defend an ever expanding world under constant threat. So, yeah, um, the game sounds wonderful to me. Um, I wonder if it is connected to Spider-Man, but it's all I have to say, the game sounds great, um, I'll probably purchase it for either my Xbox or PS4, which again, we haven't actually got confirmed if this is on all consoles, or just one console exclusive, uh, unless I've actually mentioned it in the past and I've forgotten at this current time, but yeah, the game again sounds really fun and I can't wait for it. What are your guys' thoughts as well? Are you looking forward for this game? Please comment down below if you are. And if you want to go to my most recent tweet after this upload, um, we can talk about Marvel Spider-Man, more about Square Enix, anything like that. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hold up.